Um, this is a video I have to make as kind of a public service um, point. What you see here is hand-spun alpaca. It's beautiful fiber. And I'm crocheting a strand. Um, this is, it's funny, this is the color of my dog. And I'm spinning it because I'm probably going to make a little stuffed dog. Um, but she's sick and needs surgery in the next few days. And um, so now it's a little bit too close to her to be working on the dog. And I have to finish spinning the yarn, but I'm crocheting strands instead. But anyway, um, in the past uh, few days, I've put up a couple of videos on how to make um, surgical style face masks and um, crocheting ties, um, lucidating ties, um, fabric ties, ribbon ties, all the different options you have for making the ties that hold the mask on your face. And I think um, this particular pattern is um, the surgical mask pattern that I came up with is the best pattern overall for people long term. And I like the fabric ties because, like I said in one video, I know I could throw them in the washer forever and they wouldn't fall apart. Um, and that's my problem. I actually make rope. Um, I make really good rope. And I have all these different ways of making rope. And... Um, one thing I can't include in my quilts for veteran sets is rope. And I'm sure after a moment you'll think of why. Veteran suicides are rising exponentially, and there are uh, between 20 and like 23 veterans a day uh, that commit suicide. And so I've always known the one thing I can't give them is rope. Um, I can't give them belts. I can't give them... I do make rope ties, um, but they're only about eight inches long. I can't give them a way to hang themselves. And I think of Robin Williams, um, whom I adored, and um, he found a way to do it, you know. And so you have to be as crafty as veterans are, uh, which is tough. It's tough. These are smart, smart people. And... Um, so, what I have come up with, and the reason I'm mentioning this, I'll make a video about how to do it at some point. I, have to, I had to come up with a rope that will break for the face mask. I had to come up with a rope that will not hold, say, 180 pounds. I figure the women veterans, um, some of them are my size, and unfortunately, I only weigh about 110 on a good day. So I have to make a rope that will not hold 110 pounds, um, which has been really uh, difficult to get to, realizing that the only way I can, I have so much wool, the only way I can use the wool to make face mask ties for veterans is if I make a really weak rope. Um, each tie is uh, 36 inches long, and you never know, they could figure something out. So um, I have come up with a way to do that. It's going to involve a little bit more time. It's going to involve wool that is grown on American sheep um, in America and spun by me on a spinning wheel that was invented in America um, and then done without a tool that is from any other country. So if some veteran should figure out how to do that with a, with a face mask that I give them, um, the rope will break. One thing I won't help them with is that. So think about this as you donate face masks. Um, there are times when you don't want things to be perfect or the strongest or the best that you can make them.